Welcome to Apex Esports League. I'm JT. Tonight we are live on Project Cars 2 for PlayStation, and it's the Pagnum Imports V8 Supercar Championship. Tonight is round two, so that sees us at the Hockenheim GP. I'll bring up our session details. So for tonight for Hockenheim, there's 15 minutes of qualifying. Weather conditions are medium cloud. The race is 16 laps. Weather is heavy cloud, through to overcast, and there is a mandatory pit requirement. Our standings after round one, we have Taijo leading the championship with 150 points, and that comes with a clean sweep from last week's round, and that was at Bruno GP, so getting that pole position, going on to win the race, and getting the fastest lap bonus points. Jump over and check out the track. We are in Germany for the Hockenheim GP. It is a very technical track. There's some very sharp hairpins, especially that hairpin middle of Sector 2. And then it is a very tricky section towards that back end of Sector 2. And then some very long sweepers through Sector 3. So most of the opportunities for fast passing is going to be done on the straights in Sector 1 and Sector 2. So it's going to be... A great one seeing the guys run it out in the V8 supercars around Hockenheim. And we've got a nice size field today, so if you're in the lobby, no issues going on. So hopefully they can all last out for the race. We do have a debut driver joining the league tonight. That is one space. Welcome aboard and all the best of luck in your debut race. We do have some familiar names making a reappearance as well. Holographic trick joining back in in round two. We've got Rooney making appearance again tonight. Taijo after he's come out of the pits. And if you're joining us for the stream, jump in the chat, say hello, use those sound effects controls down underneath the stream as well, that'll play those effects and record it over the stream. Have some fun, show some sport your drivers with some applauses, boos, and other fun sound effects as well. Hey Steph, Mr. Winter and Jenna Lee. All joining the stream. And for all our new viewers, hit the follow button. We did just reach our milestone that we we're trying to reach. Our goal was 300 followers, and we managed to make that during the week. So that's fantastic. We appreciate all our followers and viewers, family, friends, and fans of all our members. Make our way through the list. Really, for all the drivers' cars, we've got Big Les Gaming. This car off towards the inside of that corner. Uh, that wheeler, it's Ty Joe. Getting any 
race speed for someone going off track. There's no hot laps at the moment. They're all in their out lap. And it's a dirty monkey. And you'll notice from last week, a livery change for dirty. So we've got DK who's been unwell. Won't be making it to race with us for a while. So we've got dirty throwing it out to DK, running his car that he was going to be using. Number 78's out there. Tribute for you, DK, and thanks for joining us for the stream as well. And Dirty put the car on the podium for DK. General graphic trick, car number 47. Dirty Monkey will be looking to try and reclaim some points as well of some disconnection and weird issues going on last week. Stage papers disconnecting from the server. I was actually still hanging around and chatting with the guys at the point while we were checking out the results, so something went on. Then we'd suffer a DNF for championship points from the race, so we'll be trying to make that up tonight. Taijo and Vert Wheel in the first time's coming through. Maverick Trick setting a 139.2 for the first time lap. Vert just sets a 143. And to Hammer. Over to me, Cliff. Said at the end of the race was having issues with brake pedal in his setup. So there was a lot of locking going on that was affecting his drive. He's going to be cleaning up those pedals. Hopefully that's resolved the issue and he'll have a tidier run for himself tonight. See the drivers getting really loose in the rear around that hairpin. Tire wear is going to be quite a concern tonight. It was last week, and it's going to be especially so with Hockenheim. And one space out on track, he's qualified with a 141. Head Farmer's had his lap invalidated, so he's struggling with the car at the moment. We're seeing some very quick times up there. Taijo set a 135.6. Big Lazer's got, just gone for a big spill. Probably seen back in the pits. Get some temp into those tyres. Track temperature is going to be rather cool. We'll jump on board for a lap around. Big list stayed on track, so he must have only just ran off on the grass, hasn't taken any damage. Peggy was showing multiple invalidations, it's usually quite an off track. Incident. So he's lucky. I'm going to bring that car back to pits. Start out on cold tyres again. Maybe the first time lap for Head Farmer. Well, Nick Cliffs just jumped up into position two. Only eight tenths separating the first three. Oh, 
Quite a snap in the rear. Got that car settled. Round for much. See if we can find a driver that's not too far off from starting a lap. We'll jump on board. All the graphics just commenced. Birdie Monkey's not too far away. I'm ready with Dirty Monkey to come on to bit straight. Like a time lap there for Dirty. So sharp 90 degree turn for turn one. Very short hit straight. And down. Okay. Double apex essentially. Oh, it's bad luck, Willie. Really. Get the car back out. He hasn't taken damage. It is an odd little corner. Fine time is. Ready to keep us off for a lap. The commentator's curse, jumping above with Dirty. You can see it was the curb that unsettled Dirty's car. It's coming onto this corner here. Being wary of that sausage curb. There's lots of dog leg corners. Left bend on the straight. Ty Joe's is set fastest lap. 134. And a very sharp hairpin. He's very tight. And he's deceiving a fast right hand up into another hairpin. Maybe to speed, sitting about 150 through the corner. But it's getting some nice lines here. Through. Bit of a chicane and a nice run into the final two corners. It's a very nice time that just bumped. From position 9 up to position 5 for Vert. He'd be happy with that lap. We didn't throw the curse at him for that one. Hi Joe, setting a blistering 134.769 pole at the moment. There's just under 4 minutes left to qualifying. All those times have been brought down between 11 cars. There's a 5.4 second gap. Yeah, Steph, it is crazy how Tyjo gets these times on controller. He did just essentially run a baseline setup last week. He just threw a default in and made it. And it was a little bit of wing and a bit of roll bar, and that was it. And he's been playing with a setup tonight. Yes, 301 followers, we've broke 
that goal. Onwards for our journey towards a 400 count. Time's coming through at the moment. They're going to have to be trying to push for to stay on Taijo's tail as soon as possible. He pulled away very quickly last week. And he wasn't anywhere within range of being caught. Space getting a good amount of speed coming down that back straight, showing a heap of visual damage to the car. Farmer qualifying a nice one thirty six point eight three eight. Oh, he's moved up a spot. Bumping Rooney down to P4. Only 45 seconds left on the clock. We've got three drivers in pit lane, so that's their qualifying done. Pretender, Big Les and Hammer. Graphics park the car up as has Mick Cliff. And six drivers still out there. Time is done. 120 seconds left to finish up last laps. Zerdy's just brought the car in. Fido must be doing the same as well. Oh, he's doing some donuts. Yeah, too many qualifying burnouts for a while. Oh, Mick Cliff's just been bumped down. Rooney comes through on the final lap, qualifying in second. He was pushed down to fourth with Head Farmer bumping him down. That's still going on track. I don't think he had a great run for that last corner. One spray to improve his position. He's only got to shave off a tenth and he'll be able to bump down Hammer. He does. He shaves off two temps. 138.280. Qualifies in ninth position. I do still practicing. Practicing that pit entry. And then we have qualifying for round two complete. And Taijo takes pole position doing a 134.239, so it's over two seconds quicker than position two. Extremely quick, especially from a controller as well. So well done to Taijo. And the rest of the grid then is Rooney, McCliff, Head Farmer, Vert Wheeler, Holographic Trick, The Pretender, Big Les, One Space, Hammer, and Dirty Monkey. I'll jump over to the grid now.
track conditions are likely to have cooled off a little bit more as well for the start of the race. The cloud covers progress from medium through to heavy cloud and it will go to overcast throughout the race. Despite the cooling temperatures, that tyres are likely going to be cooked. It'll be interesting whether the drivers do a mix of compounds between the soft and the hard slicks. got a very short amount of distance to turn one and it is a very tricky corner. The driver's going to have to really take track position very quickly. There's not going to be too much time to try and maneuver around the grid. readied up. The lights green for round two. Rooney gets off to a great start, moves up into P1 and gets that nice line. Brilliant getaway. Oh, there's a little bit of movement down towards the back. There's a bit of free wide. One space trying to find an inside line. Dust sneaks. Oh, Ty Jay's looking to make a move already. Position to that inside. Does a little bit of a weave, not sure if that's correction from some oversteer. Rennie gets a nice run through that corner, he's put a bit of gap on Taijo. Up until that point, Taijo is essentially on his tail. Rain of cars. Congested down the back. Burton and one space side by side. Correcting going on down towards the back with Pretender. So that was dirty and hammer. Well, Pretender's having to go in the pits. I wonder if he's doing a strategic stop. No, he's not. He's just missed shot that. Hijo's closed that gap again. Hey, Jurassic Jam. Yeah, definitely need some of these guys' setups. Joe gets a nice run into that hairpin. Almost looked like he had to balk a bit. Oh, Tyjo goes for an outside move. No. There's tap between the two. Didn't quite have that track position. It's put both into a spin. Big opportunity for Mick. His holographic trick into P3 and head farmer P2.
And a very tidy situation for Mick. It's put him in that nearly two and a half second lead for the race after the two come together. He can push that out now. Start to gap the field. He can put himself into advantage by the time he has to come in and pit. Oh no, Mick's had an off. Quick re-entry gets into position free, narrowly avoiding contact with Taijo. Hammer one space and pretender all in the pits. That's now got head farmer in the race lead. There wasn't much room back there. Taking that hairpin too wide with a car probing to the rear. Hydro's trying to quickly work his way back up. Rooney's recovered nicely, moves into position two. And he's got a fair bit of damage. He's been in the pits for a while. Ed Farmer's disappeared. He's taken a fair bit of damage. He's missing the rear. And there's heavy damage to the front. The lead change yet again. Holographic trick moves into race lead. Rudy gets loose in the last corner. Oh, he narrowly gets that car off the racing line. That was a very quick response. So that car essentially just looped back around, sitting straight onto that racing line. Taijo so looks to make a move. It's a nice run off that straight. Right, big Les door to door, that's dirty, it's just made a spin. Not sure if it was a touch between himself and Mick. That may have just been a loop. That corner doesn't take much to spin, and especially if a car's been off, there'll be some marbles on the track. Yeah, DK Dirty is definitely quietly moving around the track. Just need some consistent times and steer clear of traffic. Getting qualified to the rear. Moved up into P6. We're lap 4 of 16. It's Bert coming back in from running very wide before that last corner. Some brilliant pace for Vert. He's going to get a great run on Big Les. It's going to be enough to move in for turn one. And this is a battle for position three. They both follow suit. That object fixation there. Nick side by side with Vert. He's going to have a good run here. Got that inside line. All oh, three wide for the hairpin. Vert spins it around. Mick gets the elbows out and then nestles through the hairpin. Ijo works his way back up to race lead. 4.4 second lead. Oh, Jurassic Jam, a G27 play seat Evo. 
for 50 fan, that's not bad. Rooney's coming into the pits. Coming on approach to that halfway point, I wouldn't be surprised if he sees some drivers come in and grab tyres. Last week, Mick stayed out, nearly the end of the race. He was running a hard set of tyres, trying to last them out. He usually pits in a bit earlier, so we were all second guessing towards the back end of the race if he actually had snuck into the pits or not. Time penalties that have gone to a couple of drivers, Bert Wheeler and the head farmer. It looks like Pretenders tired out and he's exited the session as well. May have had a lengthy repair time. Unfortunate for Pretender. Face showing some damage to the rear of the car. That may have been already tended to in the pit stop. And maybe no performance impact to the car at the moment. 30 making the journey into pit lane now. Big Les holding on to Nick still. Lord with Big Les. Oh, Nick, big slide. Opens opportunity, but I think there may be a little touch. Leads are coming in that corner with a sliding car. You get no visual on where that other car's gone. It gets lucky and it maintains P3. Plenty of excitement from the guys tonight. Tajo putting down an over eight second lead now. In comes Mick. Leds moves up to P3. Being the first of the front running cars to pit. And keep an eye on where he comes back out. What that gap is. Starting to make some ground to P2. My graphics gonna have to start watching the mirrors. Enters in position seven. D 
about 33 seconds it's added to the gap. All unsettled for Mick there. Holographics coming into the pits. Les moves up to P2. Yeah, Jurassic Jam, they can only pick their liveries from what's in the game. Unfortunately, there's no custom painting for Project Cars. It would have been a fantastic thing to have had. We do make the drivers pick an individual livery and stick with it for the series. That we can ensure that we know what driver we're looking at. We're not getting a mix of different liveries each race. Pajos received post-race time penalty as well. There's one second to Taijo, one second to Vert Wheeler, ten seconds to Farmer, so he's popped for ten seconds from coming into the pits. A bit hot or he's sped during his time down pit lane. Taijo pits, end of lap nine. Big Blair's going to do here. He's going to stay on track. No, he's coming in. I would imagine those tyres are starting to get rather sketchy. Vert comes in as well. Stop for Taijo. There's Vert. Yep. A lengthy stop for Les. Hey, Mark, thanks for jumping on the stream. On space gets in front of Rooney. One had been following behind Rooney for some time. Rooney's carrying a lot of speed down that straight. Maybe there is some performance affected to the car. That damage to the rear. Just had two drivers. Is it out? Not sure what's going on there. So it's just one. Down to nine cars. I think it's Dirty Monkeys gone out of the list. I think saying that he's disconnected, so maybe a retirement. Yeah, unfortunately, if it's a disconnect, I heard his connection issues have been dramas in the past, and they seem to have resolved that last series for him. All drivers have been in and gotten the mandatory pit out of the way. We've got me clip side by side along the straight with holographic. All oh, side by side, nearly squeezed out. Well, 
that was very tight. where he lives, Jurassic Jam, for the connection issues. A lot of our dramas we have, drivers in the lobby will actually usually get disconnected in pairs. So they'll find that they can't actually hear each other or speak to each other in the voice chat. The other user will have a strikeout on their speaker and then usually that's going to mean there'll be disconnections between the two. like the servers allocating them the same IP for the for the session and then starts causing all sorts of issues. Nice of us getting ready for the lobby beforehand is just exiting, restarting and rejoining just to make sure to try and get rid of all those those clashes. Didn't have any of that going on in the lobby beforehand. OnSpace having a brilliant run for debut race tonight. P2. Starting to put some gap over Rooney. Nick closing in on the two of them as well. Burton Hammer keeping close. It's a great run. The, the holographic slowed down as well. Big opportunity at this pace for the pace of that inside line through the corner. It's dropped some speed. Nick's made big move getting around Rooney's mistake possibly made for Rooney's drop back nearly two seconds. It's a spin for Les at the back. He spins that car back around. Yeah, they're decent enough gap. All the other few cars come up. Great line through the hairpin for Vert. Gains a position. That sees him in P7 getting around Hammer. He's made an error and that's also... Followed suit with Hammer. Nick's making big pace in these last couple of laps. It's now up to P3. Less than a second behind one space. Weird timing gap here. So it's one space 45 on my screen away. Lap 14, two laps to go. Ty Joe's nearly got 20 second lead. One covered that inside line, but he is carrying way too much speed for that corner. How quick Nick was coming in, he did need to make a decision as how to defend. He's lucky there was ample runoff room. Able to quickly recover.
Mick now P2. Nearly coming on the final lap. Going to be hard to make up in 22 seconds. But all drivers nearly seeing incident around Hockenheim. It is a very tough track. And there we go. As we say, at a turnaround, Tiger, it's lucky he's got that big lead for the race. Can afford a couple of mistakes. And he is lucky that there's a fair bit of runoff room around Hockenheim before you make wall contact. Graphic saves the car, costing him some time. That was almost a slide. It is very loose. The tyres are possibly quite scrubbed. Diving for that inside line was enough to try and nose in. It cost him some exit run. to chase. Oh, what a lovely pass. They both run wide. Holographic gets loose. Got a few seconds till Hammer catches up. Gets the car back underway. Rooney and Big Les side by side. He's trying to hold him off. I think Rooney's going to have him for the hairpin. Doesn't overshoot. He does marginally. Big Les retains P4. It's going to be hard to try and recover now. Run lap 16. Mix pulled away from one space now. Now Tyjo's crossed the line, taking two wins for the series. Could that potentially be two clean sweeps as well? Congratulations, Tyjo. Nick's going to be pleased here on the podium, P2. And one space, debut race takes podium in P3. Great run for Big Lads. Finishes P4. Rooney in fifth. That takes six. Counts on the graphic. P7. P8 for Hammer. Our race results for round two, Hockenheim GP, Taijo, our race winner. And I don't think we can see a better time than the 135-108. So it looks like a clean sweep for Taijo. So that's two consecutive clean sweeps. So that'll be seeing up a nice amount of points for the championship. So it's been narrowly missed out on championship next. So hopefully his luck can continue and doesn't suffer any connection issues going through the championship.
but also on the podium in P2 is Mick Cliff and in P3 is One Space and the rest of our standings then Big Les, Rooney, Vert, Holographic, Hammer, Head Farmer and Dirty Monkey who didn't disconnect it was a retirement so that is like he says points on the board there for Dirty. Our drivers now so we'll have Tiger and One Space in here in a moment. My console stops free, I'll be able to add them in anyway. Yeah, party invites sent out, so I'll be in in a moment. Congratulations, guys. Well done, Tiger. It's another clean sweep. Yeah, thank you. Uh, it didn't... Two in wasn't a row. Straightforward. Making a habit yeah. of it. <laughs> you had, had some yeah. climbing back to do, though, after getting caught up with, with Rooney. Nah, uh, I mean, I don't know what happened there. Honestly, like, uh, we didn't even touch, and then somehow our car stuck together. I was, uh, I was trying to cut back inside him when he went wide. And, uh... Yeah, I think that needs to be uh, looked at, but I didn't. Yeah, I didn't. It didn't turn out to him on purpose. Like I was trying to stay at, like some sort of line, and then my car stuck to him. So, yeah, sorry to him. Uh, really yeah, unfortunate. Yeah. So. Good comeback for both of you in it though as well. Yeah, thank uh, you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah and Mick the... had a few ups and downs moving around the the road uh, yeah. back into P two. <laughs> Yeah, I can't believe I got back up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it was a messy race, and then everyone else was messy, so that helped me. <laughs> yeah, someone flipped over. I don't know who. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just with the, all the petrol on my car wasn't very good, so the first stint was very hard. I couldn't wait to get in the pits. Yeah. And say tyres would have been well and truly worn out. Yeah, right. they weren't Half as bad point. as I thought. Yeah, they weren't as bad as I thought they were going to be. I wanted, I was going to go a couple more laps and have fresh tyres for the end. It worked nice low fuel, but yeah, I had to come in as soon as I could. It was too bad. <laughs> yeah, well, we got. So congrats for Tiger. Too good. Thank you. And um, hello, congrats for the podium. Yeah, congrats, one. We got you in it. Can't see if he's. Might not oh, have joined yeah. in. Nah, he's not joined in, I don't think, but yeah, good drive from him. Oh, yeah, congratulations for debut race to one. Yeah, congratulations to him, yeah. First time I've seen him, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I had to chase yeah, him down job. and he lost it in front of me. <laughs> yeah, definitely, it was a good little fight going on for a while and got the elbows out to get some nice moves as well, Mick, I saw. Yeah. <laughs> People tell me I'm too soft. Well, not anymore, right? <laughs> Start fighting for those, that track position. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's paid off. Yeah, congratulations. It's, um, it was an exciting race to see around Hockenheim. With, um, not too many opportunities to pass and all those hairpins. Yeah, cheers. I hope I didn't mess no one up too bad. <laughs> yeah, it looked, looked all pretty good. At least there'll be a bit more space next week at Dubai Autodrome as well. It is only the shorter track, but... It's much yeah, yeah. Wider. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> not, not so many sharp hairpins to, to put everyone off. Yeah. Oh, oh when that, when you went off there, making lap three, uh, that was like right in your in your racing line. I had to brake a little bit. I thought I was going to brake check someone behind me. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good yeah, I see you look. behind me, and I, yeah, just I couldn't hold you back, so there's no use trying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's all good. And then after that, like it all went messy. Four of us, like yeah. just like position. <laughs> that was fun. <laughs> yeah. Oh dear. Yeah, great fun. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, good race, man. Well done. Yeah. Congratulations, guys, and good luck with next week. Cheers, JT. Thank you. Thank you. No Thanks to Apex. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> No problem. Shout out to Holographic Man, good effort on the setup.
So yeah. Ah, uh, he was helping you with the setup. Yeah, we were. Had, uh, had, some, had some viewers saying they want um, some sharing of the setups. <laughs> yeah, I, I gave him mine. So uh, he's and then the, yeah, we exchanged feedback. So yeah, well, we I gave him my setup. Yeah, it definitely paid off. There were some great times out there, and the cars looked incredibly stable. Yeah, yeah. Well, well not really, but <laughs> it, it, as much it, it as they could be stable. around Hawk and Yeah, Hawk. yeah. <laughs> yeah the, the track was very slippery. I don't know. Like, I had nine clicks downforce on, which is the most downforce I've ever ran in any track ever. Oh, wow. Even Bathurst. So yeah, even yeah, even I tried that eight, tires and it, was, it was better in some spots, but it was just too loose. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Terrible. But yeah, just experiment with it and. Yeah, just uh, sacrificed a bit of downforce just to make it round the lap, so... Doing, doing That's very that. well with that setup. It'll be interesting to see how you go in the cars with a very, very different track next week. Yeah. Yep. Loving it. Thanks <laughs> <laughs> on the podium, guys, and I'll talk to you again next week. Yep, cheers, JT. Thank you, JT. Good yep. race, Mick. Yep, cheers. Our podium finishes with Ty Joe taking the win for round two, Mick Cliff in position two, and One Space taking podium in position three on debut race with Apex Esports League. So congratulations on that fantastic run. And we'll look at our run for next week. So we do have for round three, Dubai Autodrome International. It's going to be another great race to see around in the V8 supercars. There's going to be a bit more room for the drivers to try and fit around Dubai, but it is still going to be quite enduring. It's going to be great to see how they actually tune these cars and fly them around. And then we do have a special event that's coming up in a couple of weeks as well. So if you are on iRacing and you want to join in and support Veteran Gaming Australia, it is a charity race all for Anzac. So it is charitable organization that supports veterans through gaming so they do a whole range of different gaming and hobbies to try and get all their bit of comradeship amongst each other so it's a great cause to support we have done a charity race with them last year as well so you can always go back through and just check out what we did with veteran gaming but this is a six hour endurance race around Le Mans and they're running the LMDH, the GT3s and the V8 supercars. So a multi-class race for six hours around the Le Mans. You don't need to have a teammate either, so you can actually just run just one driver and enjoy the full six hours. And it's just a $10 entry fee, and that goes all to Veteran Gaming Australia. So you can check out on that link that's on the stream. Always head over to our Facebook page, and then you can see the links for that charity event click through and register and get involved. Otherwise, we will be covering the broadcast for that. We aren't actually hosting the race, but we'll cover the broadcast so you will be able to catch out how all the drivers do for that endurance race. So thanks for tuning in tonight, and we will be back again for round three next week, Thursday, 7.45 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. We've got more V8s on Monday night at 7.35 p.m. for iRacing, so check that out as well. Once again, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you trackside next time.